Mr. Carburetor wanted to spend more time at Silver Hatch Racetrack, so he stayed the night in Rusty. But he liked to get up very early. Wacht aan, wacht eens. Let's get the show. Who's that singing? Who's that? What time is it? Can't be singing at this time. Is that? Yes. Oh no, no, no! Oh no, you can't be singing at this time of the morning, man. Bigger crazy. Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. Back it in. Oh dear. And maybe he didn't sleep as well as a me, huh? You're up early, sir. Nice. You see, Rusty, there's a lot to do. The cars are testing some new rapeseed fuel from a Farmer Green today. Oh, ah, it's a noisy tummy. I need some fuel myself. Breakfast fuel. Early to bed and early to rise gives oh, me a sparkle oh my, in my eye. Bang out of all of this, I mean, to keep out here while Mr. Carbret takes my bed. I hardly slept a wink. And then every time I did nod off, I got woken up by his opera singing. He even sings in his sleep. I know how I'm going to get through the day. Shut up. Ooh, is a bike on an exe? Or a nice sort of story mostly? Sorry, sir. Rory, you are round and about already. Off for a practice lap, no? No, sir. I'm off to help FB at the farm. Well, make sure you don't get mad in your exhaust. And bring me back some um, eggs for my breakfast, eh? Eggs, sir? Oh, right, will do. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning! What? What? What's going on? What? Rise and shine, my little bambinos. We've got a busy day. Out onto the track for some practice. Oh, oh. I wonder if Big Chris has left any biscuits around. What? What do we have to do for early? <laughs> See, I need my beauty sleep. Huh? Where's FB and Farmer Green? Oh. Morning, everyone. Morning, mm. Big Chris. Why did Mr. Cabaretta have to wake us so early? It's practically the middle of the night. Oh, I know. I don't like it any more than you lot. I hope Mr. Cabaretta is only planning on staying for one night. Oh, I need a cup of tea. <laughs> Goodness, you woke us up with your wheelies, Rory. Oh, we overslept. Oh, our cockerel has got a sore throat and can't cock a doodle do to wake Ooh. us up. Now we're all behind with the farm work. Don't worry, I'm here to help. Oh, although I, I was supposed to be getting something for Mr. Carburetta first. Um, oh, now, what was it? Oh, what a lovely morning. Marsha to be Chris. Who said that? Was that you, Marsha? Oh, Where are you? Over? Is she? Oh, it's walkie talkie. Big Chris. Oh, Come in, Big Chris. Hang on, hang on. What do you Are you there, Big oh. Chris? What? What was that, Marsha? Love over. Oh, there you are. Can you get the cars ready to test the new rapeseed fuel, please? Oh, and no tea breaks. Over and out. How, how does she know that? Right, you lot, you heard what she said. Come on, come on, up two, up two. Will you look at that? They've all dozed off again. And you, you know, that is not a bad idea. Five minutes won't hurt. Ooh. <coughs> no time for slacking. It's time to get oh, cracking. Sleep. Sorry, you lot, but orders are orders. Come on. My axles ache after all that. Yes, it's hard work running a farm. Especially if you overslept. I don't know what we're going to do about waking up tomorrow. Anyway, there's one more job to do. Come on, Rory. So, you filled all the cars with the new rapeseed fuel, uh, Big Chris? Uh-huh, yes. Good. Oh, hang on a minute. Where's Rory? Rory is up at the farm getting eggs for my breakfast, I hope. Oh, right. 
Well, we'll just have to start the race without him then. Oh, I can't wait to, to see how my bambinos race with the new fuel. Are no you holding ready, back. Cars? Race it down the One, track. Two, three, four, five. What the fuel you put in my bambino, Speaker Chris! It sends them to sleep! Listen, you sort this out pronto quick, you understand? Mamma mia! I hope it won't be like this for the rest of my stay this week! He's staying for the whole week? He's staying for the whole week! Oh no! We'll never get any sleep! What's happened to the cars? Did you put the wrong fuel in them? Hey, hey, back off! Back off! It's, it's nothing to do with me, Marshal Love. It's Mr Carburetta that's the problem. What are you on about? He stayed the night at Silver Hatch and he was singing all night in his sleep. Then he got up at the crack of dawn and woke us all up. But now we're all exhausted, love. Oh, I see. Oh, and if he stays the whole week, it'll be the same story every day. Here's the eggs, Farmer Green. Eggs? Oh, I just remembered what Mr Garbaretta asked me to get him. Eggs for his breakfast. You'd better have some then, Rory, as a thank you for helping with the farm. Oh, thanks. But, oh, how, how are you going to wake up on time to do your work until your cockerel gets better? Search me. I don't know. I'm stumped. <laughs> There's only one thing for it, Big Chris. You're going to have to tell Mr Carburetta it's huh? all his fault that the cars are tired out. Oh, she's he, not going to like that. And, 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 I, and I'm not going to like telling him that. And he won't like that I've told him because he'll know that I've told him and he's not going to like that I either, is he? If you don't tell him, though, you'll all be exhausted for the rest of the week. Hey! Shh! Don't wake them up, Rory. Mamma mia! You are driving me up at the ceiling. Why are my cars still gone bye-byes? Come on, tell him. Oh, 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 here goes. Well, actually, Mr Carbretta, sir, it's all your fault. My fault? Yeah, because none of us got a wink of sleep last night with all of your singing and, and then getting up so early. That's why all the cars have nodded off. I never thought of that. But what am I going to do about it for the rest of the week? I always get up early. You always get up early, sir. See, si, Rory. And then I like to sing at the top of my voice. Early to bed and early to rise. Kids well, you're just what FB and Farmer Green eyes. need to wake them up in the morning. Until their cockerel's better. So why don't you stay at the farm for the rest of the week? And you can sing as early as you like. Rory, well that's a oh, Rory. Oh, I nearly forgot. I brought you back some eggs, sir. Oh, uh, oh. oh. I hope you like them scrambled. Time to light them up, guys. Oh, Rory, you are <laughs> driving me around the corner. Mr. Carburetor was looking forward to having proper breakfast for the rest of the week oh. when he stayed with Farmer Green and FB, whilst everyone else at Silver Hatch was looking forward to getting a proper night's sleep. Silver Hatch Racetrack could be a pretty noisy place, especially when Big Chris was singing karaoke. I got a heart of chrome, a mobile Ooh. home. My engine's tuned, I got shot it, cos I'm a motor man. Oh, I'm a motor Turn it down. How's the rock and roll life treating you? Oh, hello, Rory. Too much rock and way too much roll. Having Big Chris singing inside me is like having a bad tummy ache. <laughs> Big Chris! Who? Big Chris! Who's that? No. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's you, Rory. Did anybody ever teach you not to interrupt a singing mechanic? <laughs> Sorry, Big Chris. Do you want me to do any training today? Well, I've got a big karaoke competition tonight. I'm in the grand final. I can win a toaster. I've got to get my outfit picked up from dry cleaners. I've had my jumpsuit widened. And I've got to find time to practice my karaoke. I've given all the other cars the afternoon off. 
Go on, off you go. <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> See you, big Chris. Right, <laughs> right. OK, here we go. One, two, three. Hit it. Oh, no. I got a heart of rope. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Very well, Big Chris, taking the afternoon off for karaoke, but we've still got to fill the gravel traps. Don't you worry, Marsha girl. This won't take long. I'll drive along slowly and drop a bag when you toot your whistle. Bags are heavy. Hello, hello. Who wants to try my latest drink invention? It's not lemonade. It's not orange aid. It's carrot aid. Um, mm. not just me, thanks, Fish. What in the name of soggy carrots is that? Big Chris, that's in karaoke. <laughs> oh, listen to him. He sounds like he's in terrible pain. <laughs> He must have his walkie-talkie on oh. by mistake. That sounds like thirsty work. I bet he'd like to try my carrot. <laughs> I'll zoom over with you. I don't know what's wrong with Rusty. He's old one. Upset tummy as summer's I don't know. Him. Hey, I can practice in here. This is perfect. Here we go. Come on. Where's my arm on? Bit more practice with this. I'll soon have my hands on that toaster. I got a holochrome, a mobile home. My engine's tuned. I got shiny shoes, cos I'm a motor man. Oh, I'm a motor man. Hey, Big Chris, want to try my carrot, eh? Hey? Watch out, watch out! <laughs> oh, you clumsy little rabbit! Why don't you open your eyes? You j oh, you're, you're joking, you're joking. Look, he's wet through. He's, look at that. He's so... Oh, right, right, right. I am, I am not happy. Oh, I, I don't think the machine likes that carrot hide. Sorry, Big Chris. Sorry? Sorry, it's too late now. I am out of the competition and you are out of here. Go on, go on, clear off. Ah. Burn out, look at it. Oh, it's ruined. Absolutely ruined. Oh, no. What, what, what... Can't you practice anyway? What with? What with? I can't practice karaoke without any backing music, Rory. Flash has ruined my karaoke machine, pouring carotid in it. And... Oh, you can forget about that toaster. 
that's gone. Competition's over. Finito, Benito. <laughs> that's a good sound. I'm not in the mood, Rory. I'm not in the mood for this. <laughs> Come to think of it, I heard a lot of good sounds today. Hey, I think I've got an idea. <laughs> Practice your karaoke. Hey, but Rory, you know my karaoke machine isn't working. You don't need the machine. We're going to make your music. You lot make music? There are musical sounds all around if you listen. <laughs> hey, hey, I like it. Yes. Oh, yes, I like it. That's not bad, that. Hey, hang about, let me get my microphone. Hey! Quarter. Tin top. CC Maxi. And me. Rifter. Morgum. Marsha Flash. John Ellie. We are the champions. And we know what to do. Rory, there are fantastic musical sounds all around the place. You know, it just took my number one star to make me know things. Oh, thanks, Big Chris. So, ready for the competition? You better believe it, my son. Thanks so bundle, you lot. You've really done me proud. I'll see you later, everybody. Don't wait up. I've got me key. <laughs> yes, Good yes, luck, Big Chris. Chris. There really were wonderful sounds to be heard all over Silver Hatch. <laughs> In fact, the sounds were so good, everyone decided to play a game. <laughs> it was a lovely afternoon at Silver Hatch, and Rory wanted some practice laps. Some laps with me. Can't you see? I'm having a chore up, Rory. Oh. oh, what about you, Big Chris? Will you time me as I try and break the track record? No, not now, son. We should go for a spin together down to the beach. Oh, please, Big Chris. I said not now, Rory. I'm busy. Why don't you go off and find someone else to play with? There's a good lad. Go on. <laughs> Sorry, little buddy, but we're in the middle of a practice race. Maybe later. Come on, guys, let's burn some rubber. Why are my accents? There must be someone who wants to have fun with me. Sorry, Rory, I can't. We've got to get this lot delivered to the village. What about tomorrow? But I want to do something now. Well, maybe <laughs> if I... Roy, do... come on, FB. That's enough of that. Let's go. <laughs> Who needs friends to have fun? I'll go for my own somewhere. Miles away. That'll show them. Miles away, eh? <laughs> Best place for him. <laughs> Flash! Mustache! <laughs> I've got the whole beach to myself. There's loads of room to practice my wheelies. Right, light them up. <laughs> Big 
Chris is so messy with his paperwork. Uh, buongiorno, Marsha. That's a good morning. Good morning. I would like you to organise a full-blown test race for all my cars. Right away, sir. I'll get Big Chris to put out a message on the loudspeaker. Yeah! Oh, that's right. That's right. Here we go. I feel the need. The need for speed. Yeah! Sure I am, CC. It takes more than a few dents to rattle old tin top. <laughs> All cars to report to the starting line. What a presser. Is it on? Test race about to start. Repeat. All cars to the starting line. Can they hear that? Can they hear it? Come on. Here's you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Listen to my engine now, big Chris. This test race is in the bag, no? Don't count your chickens just yet, Maxi. The other cars might have something to say about that. Oh, Tintop, look at the state of you. <laughs> well, that's just a scratch. Hammer me in, tape me up, and send me out. <laughs> uh, oh, where's Rory? Eh? Isn't he? Oh, no, the little rascal. I'm, um, I'm sorry, boss. Looks like we'll have to hold up the start for a bit. I wonder where he's got to. <laughs> wow, this is fun! <laughs> oh, I'll try a really big wheelie. Line him up! How much longer do I have to wait to start the race? Where is Rory? I can't get out of the sand! Help! I'm stuck! <sighs> that Rory, he makes my engine boil. What could have happened to him? Oh, look, it'll be getting dark soon. All right, this is what we'll do. Everyone split up and search the whole of Silverhatch. He must be here somewhere. Oh, come on. Here's to go. Rory? Where are you, Rory? Where are you, Rory? Huh? Rory. 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 Where are you, Rory? Rory, where are you, little buddy? Rory. Rory, where are you, Rory, are you, Rory, Rory lad? Rory. Well, did you find Rory? No. Well, I searched high and low and I couldn't find him anywhere. This is terrible. It's terrible it's getting dark. <gasps> and poor Rory, he's out there somewhere and he's all on his own. It's my fault. It's all my fault. You know, you know, you know, he wanted me to do something with him earlier, but, but I said I was too busy. And now, and now, look. I just told him to go away. Oh, there, there, big Chris. Well, you, you mustn't blame yourself. But I do. I do, Marshall. Oh, what if... Oh, what if something's happened to him? Oh. Gee, my carrots. What's everyone so upset about? It's a Rory. He's a scarp and done a vanishing a trick. Uh, hey! What is this rabbit doing on my race track? Uh oh Flash moustache! Oh. Oh. <laughs> but if you're looking for Rory, he said something about going off on his own a long way away. A long way away? Oh. Where, where, where's a long way away? Where's that? Oh. Where's that? I've got to think. I've got to think where a long way away is. I've got to think. I've got to think. I've got to think. think, 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 think. I've got it. Oh, I know. Rory really wanted to go for a spin there at the beach. He must be there, the beach. <laughs> Come on, Plugger, come on. Hold on, Rory, we're coming, son. Help! Oh, dear. Oh, I, I wish I'd never gone off on my own. <laughs> that sounds like... like... Plugger! Oh, Rory. 
Thank goodness I've found you. I've been so worried. Now stand on, son. We'll soon have you out of that sand. All yours, plugger. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, little fella. Good work, Plugger. Now go back and tell the others we've found Rory and that he's OK. I'm on it, Big Chris. Thanks for coming, Big Chris. I was so frightened. So was I, son. I'm just glad I found you. I'm sorry I made you worry, Big Chris. Ah, well, don't you go off on your own without telling anyone in future. You got that? Yes, Big Chris. I only did it because no one would play with me. Ah, yes. Well, I'm sorry I was too busy to time your lap practice. Well, that's all right. Hey, I'll tell you what. First thing tomorrow, we'll have a crack at the Silver Hatch lap record. Just you and me. How about that, eh? Brilliant! We'll really light them up, won't we? I reckon we will, Rory, son. I reckon we will. So Roy learnt not to go off on his own without telling anyone, and he looked forward to breaking the lap record tomorrow. It was a very busy day at Silver Hatch as everyone got ready for the safety inspector's visit. Don't worry, Mr. Carburetor. Everything's under control. Yes. Oh, Malcolm, be a love and go and check the safety cones. Safety cones? Uh, right. Chris, clean up any oil spills in the workshop, will you? Then find the Silver Hatch safety certificate. Without that, this safety inspector could close us down. Right you are, Marshal. <laughs> Tintop, Tintop! Hey, watch this! <laughs> hey? Whoops, I gotta go. I'll see you later, buddy. Inspector will be here any minute, and this place is a mess. Sorry, Marsha. Oh, someone needs to check the first aid kits, and oh, oh, where's the fire extinguisher gone? Oh! What's all the fuss? The safety inspector is coming, whoever she is. Two more carrots! <gasps> the safety inspector's worse than Mr. Carburetta on a bad day! <gasps> no, 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 no. Everything has to be perfect. You better watch out, Rory! <laughs> <laughs> what if the safety inspector finds something wrong with me? Well, she might stop me driving. I'm gonna hide away till she's gone. <laughs> Oh, I know I put that safety certificate somewhere. Maybe it's in the workshop. Oh, what's Marsha going to say? Where is it? Things were Where better is... run in the good old days. Back then, things ran like clockwork. Um, uh, hi, Rusty. How are you? Hello, Rory. I was just remembering the good old days when cars were cars and caravans were caravans. Oh, grand times. Oh. Well, tell me about them, Rusty. Oh. Rusty? Oh. Rusty? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Stop it! Get off! What? Please, what am I playing to I'm work? Just... Oh. What's, what's the matter with you? Give over, Maxie. I don't have your safety certificate. Please, please, please. Well, I have to get it safe now. Uh, Big Chris, I told you to clean up this oil. I'm, I'm sorry, Marsh, I'm sorry, but I, I'm busy looking for that safety certificate. I can't find it anywhere. It's doing me head in. Marsha! Oh, Dinky has escaped from his field and he's on the racetrack. Oh, that's all I need. Big Chris, clean up that oil and find that safety certificate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's easier said than done, that. <sighs> Rusty! <sighs> Rusty, wake up! <laughs> Sorry, Rory. What were we saying? <laughs> I was 
was asking you about the good old days. Oh, yes. The good old days. Oh, I used to cruise the open roads, air in me tyres, each hill a new horizon. Wow. I never thought about you actually going places. I just thought you were always parked here, going rusty and full of Big Chris's mess. You're right, my lad. I'm not the caravan I used to be. Me shiny paint is faded and me curtains are all frayed. Me door is kind of broken in a wonky kind of way. I used to live <sighs> the eye life, the caravan to be. But now, nothing happens to me. I remember the days I used to be fine. I remember the ways me wheels used to shine. But now you can see nothing happens to me. I never knew. But you're still really useful, Rusty. Nice of you to say so, Rory. But let's face it, I wouldn't really be missed at Silver Edge. But shouldn't you be getting ready for the safety inspection? Uh, no, not really. I'm just hanging around. Oh, I see. Uh, Tinky! Oh, Tinky! Will you get back in your field? Oh, nothing's going right. Marsha to Big Chris, are you receiving over? Big Chris, eh? come in, Big Who Chris. Who said that? Where's that coming from? Are you there, Big Chris? All right, walkie-talkie. Press here, press here. What's up, Marsha, love? Have you found that safety certificate yet? Uh, no, but I know I put it somewhere safe when I had my tea yesterday. Over. Oh, can't anything go right today? <gasps> At last! Oh, thanks, Malcolm. Oh. oh no! Here comes Helly with the safety inspector. Oh, that must be the safety inspector. What? She's coming in, Helly. She might see me hiding from up there. What would you be hiding for, Rory? Oh, um, well, I'm hiding from the safety inspector. Flash said she might stop me driving if she doesn't like the look of me. <laughs> no, the safety inspector comes for a good reason. To make sure everything is safe for all you cars to race around the track. Really? So I don't have to hide after all? Oh, where's that certificate? Where have I put it? <laughs> Big Chris, Big Chris, have you found the safety certificate? I don't know where I've put it. I've looked everywhere. Marsha, this safety inspector's waiting oh. for you. Something about a safety certificate. <laughs> don't know. We've had it. Are you sure you can't remember where you put it, Big Chris? I'm sorry, Marsha, love, but I can't. I can't remember. I'm wrecking my brains. I can. Oh, well, that's it then. What did you say, Rusty? Big Chris. What did you have for your tea last night? Pizza. Pizza it was Tuesday with a pepperoni topping. Oh, handsome chunks of farmhouse pepperoni. I've never tasted anything like it. Was, it was... Why? Why? Cos you put the safety certificate in the pizza box for safekeeping. So I did. So I did. Well done, Rusty, me old son. Get in there. You are my eyes. Your ears. You are my everything. <laughs> Flash, what's all this about you frightening Rory about the safety inspector? I think you owe him an apology. Sorry, Rory. <laughs> well, that's all right, Flash. I found it! I found it! Oh, goodness! Oh, there's a bit of pepperoni stuck to it. Come here. Oh, hot or cold, it is beautiful. Well, at least I can rely on Rusty to remember things. I'd better show this certificate to the inspector. Thanks, Rusty. You saved me bacon, though, son. Not to mention Silver Hatch. And you saved me from worrying about the safety inspector, too, Rusty. You see, you are useful after all. Thanks, Rory. 
The safety inspection went perfectly, and Rusty realized that Silver Hatch just wouldn't be the same without him. Big Chris was on his lunch break at Silver Hatch, and Flash had sneaked into the workshop to mend his skateboard. I don't think you should be using Big Chris's tools, Flash. Ah, what harm can he do? Well, he must Oi, Flash! Oi, <gasps> Flash! What do you think you're doing? No one messes with my tools. Uh oh, uh, Flash, mustache. Oh. <laughs> Spaghetti, so I never do forget <laughs> <laughs> well, Mamma mia, that rabbito is uh, driving me up at the ceiling. <laughs> a flash! <laughs> oh, messy molehills, flash! Look at me tools, all messed up. That flash is bang out of order. Cece, hey, shall we go and see if they at the farm? Good idea, Shelly. Oh, Bless you. Look at, that, now, look at this. Give me an inch, you take a mile. <laughs> Everyone's got it in for me, Dinky. I try my best sometimes. I'm just so misunderstood. <laughs> What's the matter, Flash? Nobody likes me. I've annoyed Big Chris, Mr. Carburetta, Marsha, Malcolm. Whose fault is that? For a start, you shouldn't have used Big Chris's tools without asking. I know. I just wish there was some way I could make up for it. Maybe you should invite them round for tea. A tea party? At my place? <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Chew my carrots! That's a brilliant idea! Thanks, CC! <laughs> right, let's go and find FB! <laughs> CC? That's right. <laughs> all homegrown. Me and FB are going to deliver it to all the houses in the village. Wow! Could FB come and play for a while before you do that, Farmer Green? Oh, I don't see why not. <laughs> I need you back in time for the deliveries, mind. OK! Thanks, Farmer Green! Where did the rabbit make my skin crawl? If I see that rabbit again, I'll... Ah! Good day, Mr. Carburetta. Oh! Tony, my son, let me look at you. <gasps> but what is this? Oh, Tony, you don't look well. Are you eating? Mama, I don't get the time to eat. I am too busy running a rice track. Antonio, you need to eat healthy food <laughs> and exercise more. <laughs> I'm sorry I annoyed you, but please come to my tea party from Flash. <laughs> right, that's the invitations done. Now, it's delivery time. I'll tell you what, Marshall, love, that Flash is really getting on my nerves. Oh, my too. Flash is a... A biggy tiny oh. pain in the elbow, Molcom. See, he is uh, driving me over the bend. I am all skins and bones. <laughs> Tony, 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 you are all skin and bone because you don't eat healthy. You need a feeding, no? I do. I, I definitely do. Special thing! Oh, Flash invites everyone to a tea party at his tree. Oh! Oh, a tea party at the Rabbitos house? Forget about it. Now I... Antonio, we are going. You need to eat. But, Mama... Oh, OK. I will ask Helly to take me to Flash's Barrow. No! You can walk. Oh. You need the exercise. <laughs> walk? <laughs> Welcome to my humble abode. I, I, oh, 
Where's Mr. Carburetor? Oh, I hope the food is worth it. After you. Mamma mia. Grazie. Majesty. I, I'd better go and help Farmer Green deliver his organic food boxes now. I'll see you two later. Bye! Bye, oh, yeah, everybody! Bye, see you, Rory! Oh, I spin my spanners. I'm that hungry, I can eat my toolbox. What's on the menu, Flash, my boy? My speciality. Whoa! <gasps> Raw carrots? What are you all doing here? Don't you know? There's a tea party below. Oh, I hope it's going well. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh. oh, this was a right to do. Come on, Marsha, love. Let's get back and order a takeaway. Good idea, Big Chris. Oh, baby. Wasn't your tea party a success, Flush? No, it wasn't. They didn't want my carrots. Oh, no one likes me. Oh, Flash. I wish we could do something to help. Everyone hungry? Yes, I am. Right, what's it to be? A curry will go down a treat. Mind you, so would a pizza. Big Greasy's always eating oh, yeah. takeaways. <laughs> see, see, see. There's something better they can eat. Hang about. I quite fancy a Chinese. Sweet and sour pork balls. Lovely. <laughs> I know. I need to find FB and Flash. Oh, our organic food boxes went down well, FB. Farmer Green, have you got any of your special food boxes left? Just the one, Rory. Why is that? Flash needs it. Hey, do I? What? <gasps> what are my radishes? What a characteristic idea. Oh, I'll never call you Rory Rush Bucket again. That's one ham and pineapple pizza, one vegetarian chicken vindaloo, uh, one egg fried rice, yes. um, and one cheeseburger, but hold the cheese, yes? Oh, one... just order anything, Marsha Petal. I'm famished. You are right, Big Grease. My Tony needs to eat before oh. his trousers fall down. <laughs> Mama, but it is a true. I am hungry, thanks to that rabbit. Not for much longer. Dinner is served! Uh -huh. eh? Follow me! Philip, <laughs> very peckish. Ah, ladies, oh, so charming. And gentlemen, so glad you could come to dinner. Please be seated. Strip my gears. This is better than any takeaway. Hey! How did you manage to lay all this lot on Flash? Oh, with a little help from Farmer Green and my friend Rory. Well done, Flash. It looks delicious. Homemade pasties, crunchy salad, oh, fresh fruit and not a pizza or donut inside, eh, Big Chris? Yep, uh, that's right, Marsha, love. Everyone enjoyed Flash's healthy dinner party and they all forgave him for annoying them earlier. Even Mr Carburetta. Well, for a little while at least. It was a quiet afternoon at Silver Hatch. Big Chris and Tin Top were watching a cowboy film, but they were about to discover they had their very own baddie. Oh, wow! Cowboys! Oi! Oh, no, you don't. Go on, hop it. <laughs> Maybe I can play cowboys with Rory and the others. Where are they? Rory? Teach them not to ignore me. <laughs> Let's the fun begin. That was a 
great yeah. film, mm. but it's made me homesick. There's lots of cowboys where I come from. Eh, I reckon you and me would make a couple of great cowboys. Really? Why, oh, yeah. You could be my deputy. That's second in charge, after me. Howdy, Deputy Tin Top. Let's hit the trail. What do you reckon? Ah, eh? That sounds like fun. <laughs> You have to stop now, CC. <laughs> Just a little muddy. <laughs> oh, sounds like mercy. Oh no! <laughs> Look out, Mercy! <laughs> Flash! We'll get you for this! I'd like to see you try! You're stuck! That's what you get for not letting me play with you! <laughs> Tin Top, this is called Line Dancing, and this is a real cowboy's dance. One, two, three, go. A step to the left. Yee-ha! Step to the right. Yee-ha! Clap your hands and spin your hand. And, and, and don't fall over. Obviously, clearly, but it's been a while. You know, not lost it, still there. Big Chris! Big Chris! Hey, 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 whoa, slow down, Rory. Where's the fire, son? Sorry, Big Chris, but we need your help. Flash has been causing trouble again, and now Maxie and Cece are stuck. Don't worry, Rory. We'll have it sorted and catch that naughty Flash in no time, especially with my deputy on the case. Isn't that right, Tin Top? Yes, sir, partner. Come on, lads. We're cowboys today, so let's hit the trail and move out. yee -haw! Get him off, move him off, move him off, get him off. Get him off. Get out of here. Doing out on the track. <laughs> Are you okay, Cece and Maxie? Yes, I'm very muddy, but I'm fine, Big Chris. Me too, but Flash is up to no good. Ah, you're right, Maxie. Tin top, Rory, you best catch Flash before he causes any more damage. Yes, sir, partner. If you two are okay for now, I'll get Dinky back into the field and then get you both on stock, partners. <laughs> Oh, Plugger, watch this. I'm good with animals. <laughs> oh, oh, look, oh. oh, I'm all in knots now. Here you go, Big Chris. I'll ask who you see. It's not working properly. We'll have to find another way to get Dinky back into the field. I can't see Flash anywhere. Look at these prints on the ground. They look like they belong to a big rabbit. Let's follow those tracks like big cowboys. Cowboys will never find this buddy. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, you got me. I give up. <laughs> oh. 
think Dinky needs a little bit more persuasion. Ah! Oh, oh! Ah, what? There you are. Not only did you make Max and Cece come off the track, you left the gate open, and poor Dinky almost got injured too. What have you got to say for yourself, son? Sorry, everyone. Yeah, well, that's all right, Flash, but don't do it again. Come on, Plugger, you can do it. Here, Plugger, I think I know a way to help. Could I borrow your lasso, Big Chris? Okay, Plugger, let's do this together. They suck Now we need to get Cece unstuck. Oh, help! Well, I suppose you did get us into this mess. Maybe it'll teach you a lesson. <laughs> Thank you, Flash. Now you're as muddy as me. Oh, sorry, Cece. I'll make it up to everyone. I promise. Thanks for all your help, boys. You're the best cowboys I've ever seen. You deserve these sheriff badges. Thanks, Big Chris. Silver Hatch is much better than the Wild West. Come on, let's show everyone how real cowboys dance. Let's all square dance. Here we go. Places all. Dancing all. Wheels to the left. And dancing all. She's the best. Four by four. As everyone joined in the cowboy dance, Flash realized that being a cowboy was far more fun than being a baddie. <laughs> That's awful. Yes, it was a lovely day at Silver Hatch. FB was on his way to the village to deliver apples, but he wasn't looking where he was going. La 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 uh oh Watch out! Huh? Ah! Oh! Oh! <gasps> Are you OK, FB? I think so, Rory, but I can't get my engine started now. Don't worry. I'll go and get Big Chris to help. Won't be long. <laughs> I'm a motor man, that's what I am. Time for a blue, I reckon. Big Chris, FB's had an accident at Dinky's Corner. Oh, he dear. can't get his engine started. I better take a look. Plugger, there's been an accident. Let him in here quick. No need to race. Plugger's on the case. Oh, I'll finish this sausage roll later. <laughs> you lead the way, Rory. Big Chris, wait. I need you to fix Zippy. Oh, I'd better have a go at mending you myself, Zippy. Oh, look at the state of this workshop. How can Big Chris work in a mess like this? Zippy, it looks like I'm going to have to put off fixing you until I get this place tidied up. Messy molehills. Do you want a hand, Marsha? Oh, yes, please, Malcolm. It's going to take a while to clean up this lot. You'll have to clear up these uppers, FB. That won't be a problem, Cece. Oh, once I get my engine started. Here, FB. Spin my spanner. What have you been up to, FB? Hey, whatever it is, don't worry, lad. I'll soon have your engine going again. Listen, while I fix him, you lot can finish your practice laps. But remember, if you bend it... You bend it! Hey, it's got that. Mmm. I should eat fruit more often. Woohoo! Come on, Maxie! Can't you go any faster than that? My 
Mamma Miss. I will show you, Rory. Lovely. It's taken me ages to clean my burrow. Still, everything's neat and tidy now. Oh, no. Here come those rotten racing cars! Oh, 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 oh. Two carrots! <gasps> Look what Rory and his friends have done to my burrow! You! Oh, it's starting to look tidier, Malcolm. <laughs> Big Chris will have a surprise when he gets back. Ooh. Where shall I put this half-eaten sausage roll, Marsha? Oh, yuck! In the bin, please, Malcolm. Right, I reckon that sorted your engine, FB. Give it a go now. <laughs> Oh, I'd better clear away these apples now. Good idea, son. And I'd best get back to the workshop. Oh, there. Big Chris won't recognise the place. Thanks for your help, Malcolm. How about a nice cuppa in my office? Oh, don't mind if I do. <laughs> Thanks, Plugger. <laughs> You're welcome. Catch you later. Yeah, I'll see you later. OK, time for a brew. Oh, yes, and the rest of my sausage roll, you beauty. <gasps> Who's been mucking around my workshop? Look at it. I can't work in these conditions. Where's my spanner? Where's my favourite oily rag? More to the point, where's my sausage roll? It's in the bin. Someone's chucked me sausage roll in the bin. What kind of a world are we living in when a man can't leave a sausage roll on the side? Look at it. Ruined. I can't eat this now. Zippy. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's all becoming very clear. I know who's been in my workshop. Marsha! Marsha! Eh? What? Marsha, was it you? Me? Was it you who went and tidied up my workshop? Oh, that! Yes, me and Malcolm. No need to thank us. Thank you? I don't want to thank you, Marsha. I want to give you an earful. I liked it just the way it was. Never you mind, eh, going in there. I'll never find anything now. And she took away my sausage roll. I was looking forward to that. Uh, how about a biscuit instead? <laughs> biscuit? I don't want to... Saying that, are they jammy dodges? Oh, go on, then. Big Chris, your workshop was a mess. Goodness knows what Mr Carburetta would have said if he'd been here. It's much better to have everything neat and tidy. That way, you'll always know where everything is. Hmm, well, I like my mess. Oh! Bucket, I want a word with you. You've made a mess of my burrow with your silly racing. Sorry about that, Flash. We'll help you clear it up. If you can catch us. Oi, oi, come back here. That was a cup of Her Majesty's tea, Marsh. It's coming from the workshop. Quick! 
Are you hurt, Flash? I'm fine, Rory. I think. Yay! Oh, I don't believe it! <sighs> Flash! Have you any idea how hard Malcolm and I worked to tidy this workshop? <laughs> well, look at it. Well, the thing is. Oh, yeah, but. I j <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'll clean everything up. Promise. You don't need to clean up a thing, Flash. Actually, you've done me a favour, son. This is just how I like my workshop at the moment. Now I can get back to work as normal. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you need a bit of attention, Zippy. I'll just get me spanner, if I can find it. Oh, Where's my spanner? Where is it? It wouldn't be a problem if everything was in its place. Aye, all right, Marshall. Love. Where's my spanner? <laughs> <laughs> Big Chris was starting to realise that maybe sometimes he should keep his workshop a bit tidier. <laughs> <laughs>